Cheers everyone. Right, this video is a bit of an update to reference my camera and also a little bit of a rant. First of all, I've got myself a new camera again. I've decided this time to go for the Panasonic, uh, the FZ200, uh, which is um, it's like a bridge camera. Don't know much about cameras, I'll be honest. But it films and it does what I want it to do. The other camera that I purchased, which was the, um, the Pentax, that had to go back. They wouldn't accept it back. I then had to sell it, got the money through, purchased this one. Now, the rant here is that customer service, really, and this is what really, really grabs me at the moment. I purchased the uh, Pentax camera, the, um, the last one that you saw, uh, about six, seven weeks ago, and I got it from a shop and staff at Peter Rogers. Supposed to be um, experts in their field, supposed to be professionals. Uh, I went in there knowing nothing about cameras, wanting advice and I told them what I wanted the camera for. I said it's for YouTube, I'm not a vlogger, I don't need to be that portable, it's going to be in a tripod but it's got to be able to focus, it's got to be able to record, do good quality, HD, all those sorts of things. Got it home, played with it, couldn't get it to work very well. Tried it a few times, still no joy. Phoned my sister and brother-in-law who live in London, they came over and gave me a bit of a hand with it. I found out that it wasn't really suitable and it wouldn't really do what I wanted to do. Um, at this point, I decided, right, I'll go back to the shop, I'll explain to them that it's not fit for purpose, I'm not after a free exchange, I'll upgrade it, I'll sell it back to the shop. Um, they said, basically, you've had it too long, it's past its uh, 30, 28 days, whatever, no chance. The best thing you can do, they said, is to sell it on eBay. Well, obviously, I wasn't very happy about that. So after a lengthy discussion with them uh, about uh, you know, various cheaper ways of selling it for me, um, I said it's just not what I wanted to do, it doesn't do what I asked a camera to do for me. Um, they didn't even ask why it didn't do what I wanted and what it was I wanted it to do that it wouldn't do. For all they know I could have been doing something wrong and it could have been a very simple fix and everyone would have been happy but they just could not get me out of the shop fast enough. So I was really unhappy about this. I spent £470 on the camera. They did not want to know, purely because it was six weeks old. It was still on its first charge. That battery had only been charged once. Um, and it was in immaculate condition, uh, box as well. Uh, didn't want to know, couldn't get me out of the shop fast enough. They didn't even try and sell me a better camera, knowing that I'd gone in there saying, I want to upgrade, I want to get something better. It doesn't do what I wanted to do. Didn't want to know. So I had no choice then. Uh, I sold it on eBay and the money came through uh, yesterday, the day before. I then went over, got myself up the train, went over to Jessup's, Birmingham, and I got this one. Um, I've done a lot of research on this. I've seen videos and clips that have been done previously by people, which were on YouTube. I was happy with the quality, I was happy with the price, uh, £270. Um, and I had a, a hold of it in the shop and yeah, I was, uh, I was happy with that. You can get it cheaper if you go online to like Amazon, but I wanted the experience of just being able to hold it and making sure I was happy with it. So I think sometimes it's worth paying a little bit more. Plus I do like to support local companies and businesses anyway. So um, I paid, gave him a credit card, he gave me the box, gave me the receipt, thank you very much. Uh, I thought well I've got to down walk to the train station. It says, um, can I get it back, please? Yes, yeah, certainly no problem, uh, that'd be 5p. I says, 5p? I said, I've just paid £270 on a camera and you're going to charge me 5p for a bag? He says, yeah, it's, um, you know, regardless of the price, if you'd spent £5,000, we would charge you 5p. I said, well, I've got to now walk back to the train station holding this, feel a bit kind of vulnerable, a bit open. Um, yeah, it's just going to have to be 5p, though. So, um, well, you can't pay 5p in a credit card. So I couldn't get it back and I didn't have any change. So I had a bit of a walk back to the train station holding that, hoping I wasn't going to get mugged. Um, which was my second gripe, really. You know, you, you pay all this money for a, an item um, and they won't even give you a 5p bag. Even if the store paid, because I appreciate the government has said that the law is they have to charge 5p. Well, could they not have paid that 5p for me, uh, for goodwill, that I just purchased a camera? 
So um, again, a bit disgruntled, but I'm happy with the camera and from what I can see so far, it's going to be perfect for me. Um, I think I still have to play with the settings to get the light right. Who's found you? Me now. Um, but once I've got that done, it's going to be spot on. So they could have at least paid for that for me, which they didn't. So with that in mind, yeah, one of those things. But all in all, uh, a very dear friend of mine, uh, a brother of mine, he said to me, um, you've not wasted £100, because effectively I lost £100 for buying that camera and selling it for £100 cheaper. He says, James, you've not, you've not wasted or lost £100. You've actually got £100 worth of experience there. Uh, and that gave me something to think about. I thought, you know what? You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, financially I've lost out of £100, but I've learned a valuable lesson there. Um, and I've learned a bit more about cameras as a result as well, so it's all a bonus. I'm happy. The chap who bought my camera off me, he's very happy, and I'm not surprised. He's got a very good deal there. Uh, and I've got a better camera, and it's just what I wanted to do. So, good times. Right, okay, so more videos coming up soon. Now I've got the camera sorted. Um, got my coffee sorted. I've got a bit of editing to do, so I'm going to crack on with this now, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.